Hey guys, it's Gunrunner7271. This is kind of a video response to Sailing Manual and Demcad. I think Demcad had some, some good insight on what was going on. Not that he needs my approval. Um, just felt out of way in on all this race war crap that I keep hearing. Sailing Manual put up a video of Mr. Shabazz and some sort of lady named Michelle that's some leader down in Florida of the new Black Panther Party. I want to go into my background a little bit. Let's go into family history. Just, just indulge me. My grandmother, my great grandparents were Lummi Indian. Okay? Um, that's not me claiming that. That's a matter of U.S. Census records and whatnot and uh, documentation that goes on record in uh, many cultural centers. My grandfather had to sneak into his grandmother's funeral, an all-white woman from somewhere in West Virginia. Um, his grandfather was a black man that worked on the railroad. So, I'm not sure where I fit in in this big race war. I can tell you that uh, my family is seated with Caucasians. We don't hate each other. We all get along real well. And uh, I can't say that this matter hasn't come up before because it has. I'm just so disappointed in this Shabazz fellow. You know, I, I think Sailing Manual kind of got this wrong. He put the guy out there up front and center, and there's been other videos, but he's given this guy attention. When this guy, black people, ignore him for the most part as well. Sailing, you give this guy more power by putting him out there and even addressing him. If you don't listen or you tune him out, you render him powerless. Completely powerless. If he chooses to go out and commit genocide or indoor homicide on Anglos or Caucasians, Surely he should be brought before the law and subject to the full value of the law. I'm not sure, again, that we're doing, if we're not doing his bidding by talking about him. But since we are, I'm going to get into it. Mr. Shabazz, this is an open, open <sighs> challenge to you. On a daily day basis, I turn on the news, and I see right in the Dayton, Ohio area, not whites killing blacks. I see young black men killing young black men. I haven't seen Mr. Shabazz address that at all. I haven't seen him walk in the streets of the local hatchery, i.e. project area to encourage young black men not to kill each other. You want to start talking about a race war? How about let's start by not killing each other. Okay? As a man of color, I challenge you, Mr. Shabazz, to start dealing with the black on black crime. It makes my blood boil that you, Mr. Shabazz, have not addressed this area first off and foremost about us, people of color. You fly a flag with a Black Panther on it that comes from South America. You also fly a flag with an African continent on it. Are you that unhappy with the United States? I suggest if you are, you leave it. 
I served my country and I swore an oath to uphold the Constitution against foreign and domestic and right now you have qualified as the domestic so you my friend Mr. Shabazz have earned my wrath because you embarrass me when I hear you talking about committing genocide and or homicide you do nothing to dispel any type of stereotypical things that people outside the black race might think that would be our brown brothers from the south that would be our white planet mates that would be any type of red friends that you may have had you have done nothing to dispel any type of racial stereotypes you come off as angry black man well now you have another angry black man who's not necessarily pissed off at white folks he's pissed off at you because you have all of a sudden made headlines making white folks uncomfortable thinking that we all want to kill them I'm a little upset about that you should be warned that bad things could happen to you the easiest way to deal with you at this point is just to ignore you. So sailing, I'm sorry. I appreciate your goodwill in the matter, but I'm also a little sorry that you've given this gentleman more power than he deserves. The man, I don't know him personally. I don't think he's ever served his country a day in his life. I can tell you that if he calls for rallying black people against white people I'm not going to be a part of that and considering I'm better armed than most National Guards I think that I don't really care if Mr. Shabazz is mad that is my intention Mr. Shabazz I hope you see this video because you wanting to start a race war is just nuts they ought to pick you up on on a 72 observation and hold you know what are you doing man